What am I gonna do? No matter what I decide, one group's not gonna be happy. What's up, Layla? Student council drama? Yeah. Ever since our president moved away and I got bumped up from vice president to president, it's been such a headache. I had no idea what a mess I was walking into. Ooh, that bad, huh? One million percent. I have kids from all grades coming up to me about the new mascot change. Half want a shark and the other half want a tiger. Hmm, both are scary. Which is what you'd want your school mascot to be. Right? But the choice is being left up to me. Oh, man. What are you going to do? I have no idea. All I know is that I want my decision to represent what the student body wants and really pump up everyone's sense of school spirit. But no matter what choice I make, it'll disappoint a ton of kids, and I don't want my presidency to start off with half the school mad at me. Get out your phone, Layla. Let's see if the History app can take us to meet a strong leader who had to make tough decisions like you. Hmm, let's see. Leadership. Where are we? It looks like we're in a palace. I see a queen over there. Let's go meet her. I can't remember if I should curtsy or bow. Excuse me, your majesty. Children, in my chambers. Gods, off with their heads. <gasps> I knew I should have curtsied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my apologies, children. I merely jest. Even queens need a good laugh every now and again. And if anyone can see the humor in beheading, it's most certainly me. <laughs> uh, good one, your majesty. Uh, my name's Leo, and this is my sister Layla. Welcome, children. I am Queen Elizabeth. Queen of England. Oh, <laughs> thank you for letting me joke with you. I've been in much need of a light-hearted moment as of late, especially today, in the year 1588. Many don't realize how challenging it is to be queen. Really? It seems like a dream job. You weren't excited to be in charge? To be honest, I didn't have a choice. I was thrust into this position after my sister, Queen Mary, died. But. When I assumed my title, I wanted to fulfill my duties to the best of my ability. When I took over, my beloved country was in quite a mess. A mess I inherited from my sister. What do you mean? Well, not only were we at war with France, but my country was divided, with citizens split over how to practice Christianity. This was the middle of the Protestant Reformation, a time when some people in Europe disagreed with the way the Catholic Church did things. They wanted to change and improve the church. Mary wanted to restore England to Roman Catholicism. After my father, King Henry VIII, broke away from the Catholic Church. Mary was known for using any means necessary to get her subjects to practice Catholicism, which earned her the nickname Bloody Mary for, oh well, I'll spare you the gory details, but let's just say her methods weren't pretty. Yikes! That's putting it mildly. As a Protestant, when I became queen, I re-established the Church of England and Protestantism as the official state religion. And everyone was okay with that? How did you get everyone to agree? Well, I wanted my reign to be a time of peace and prosperity. Even though I made Protestantism the official state religion, I wanted the conflict between Protestants and Catholics to end in our kingdom. So, I created a common prayer book that respected both sides. After all, there is only one Jesus Christ, and all the rest is a dispute over trifles. Hmm, I like that. You found a way to bring stability and unity to a deeply divided people who really have a lot in common. That's right. My people had been through some pretty rough times under my father and sister's rule. National pride was at an all-time low, so I continue to feel it is my responsibility to make our citizens feel proud to be English once again. How will you do that? My plan is to make England excel in all areas. I want us to be remembered for our contributions to the arts as well. I love music, dancing and watching plays. I'm thoroughly enjoying our wonderful English playwrights, and I'm hearing some great 
great things about an up-and-coming writer by the name of William Shakespeare. Oh yeah, we actually met Shakespeare, and our mom is a huge fan of him too. I've even read some of his plays in school. That's wonderful, Layla. I hope that our arts will withstand the test of time. I would love nothing more than for my country to thrive and for my reign to be known as a time of peace and prosperity. Because of that, I ended our war with France and managed to avoid major conflicts with other countries until recently, that is. Spain? Yes, and that brings us to our present conflict. My brave men are fighting against the Spanish Armada as we speak. I have yet to receive word if our men have succeeded in defeating them at sea. A battle at sea? Cool! Uh-oh. Why is England fighting with Spain? And what's an armada? Currently, Spain, with their large fleet of warships, or armada, is the most powerful force in Europe, for now. Their king, King Philip II, is none too happy with me. Why not? Spain is a Catholic country, and England is now a Protestant country. King Philip thinks I am taking England in the wrong direction. He was also married to Queen Mary, so he thinks he has a claim to the English throne. Talk about drama. Now his plan is to invade us and re-establish Catholicism in England by conquering us with his famed armada. He sent 130 ships carrying 30,000 men in his attempt to conquer us. 30,000 men? Holy moly! Sounds quite daunting, doesn't it? But little did he know that England will never go down without a fight. You were ready for them, weren't you, your highness? We most definitely were. I have my most skilled sailors leading our ships. I hope to get word any second- Your Majesty, I come to share the most fortunate news. Our sailors have done it! With our plan of attacking the Spanish ships docked by France, and with the weather favorably on our side, the Spanish Armada is about to retreat! Oh, <sighs> thank God. God Almighty, let the country of England reign supreme. Go, Queen Elizabeth! Uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, great job, Your Majesty. This tremendous victory should help to reinvigorate national pride in our country. We can now set our sights on grander things like exploration, especially of the Americas. I become filled with excitement when I think of the expansion of trade and even the colonies that can be established there in the name of England. Colonies in the Americas sounds like a great idea. Maybe try sticking to the Northeast. I'm sure you'll have success there. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Now, I must prepare myself to travel to address the soldiers stationed on land. I must tell them to stand down, since the Spanish are retreating. You're gonna go? I figured you'd have someone else do that for you. I'm one with my people, Layla. My men were willing to valiantly serve me and their country, so it honors me greatly to serve them, especially now, in the midst and heat of the battle, to live and die amongst them all, to lay down for my God and for my kingdom and my people, my honor and my blood, even in the dust. You're one tough cookie, Queen Elizabeth. You totally are. I want to follow your example as the president of my school and really boost school spirit. But how can I be a good leader and earn the respect of the student body like you did with your subjects? First and foremost, they need to trust you and know that you want what's best for them and your school. Make yourself available to listen to their grievances. Next, always present the best version of yourself. Remember, you are a representative of your subjects, so have dignity with your own appearance and behavior. Yes, I love any excuse to dress up. But most importantly, stay the course. Trust yourself as a leader to make difficult decisions that everyone might not agree with at first. Be patient, but above all else, be fair and consistent. Hmm, that gives me an idea. I think I know how to settle the mascot dispute at my school. Wonderful, Layla. Your school is fortunate to have you as their leader, a young woman who is fighting right alongside them and not above them. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth, for taking time out of your busy day to chat with us. I can only hope to be half the leader you are. Bye! Bye. How did today go? It went really well. I took a page out of Queen Elizabeth's book and figured out a compromise for the mascot. Since some kids wanted a tiger and others wanted a shark, I decided on a tiger shark. They really seem to like that. Wow, good call. I also want the student body to know that I'm here to listen to their needs. So I showed them this new mailbox that will be kept in the cafeteria for them to leave me notes about ideas they have or things they want fixed. 
I can already feel school spirit revving up, just like how Queen Elizabeth increased national pride in England. My presidential mess is cleaning itself up. I'm so happy everything worked out. Now, speaking of messes, I think it's time for you to queen your room. It's a royal disaster. Leo! If you liked time traveling with Leo and Layla, watch more of their adventures at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.